My name is Mark Jelliff. I'm an uh, emergency department consultant here at Royal Cornwall Hospital. We're going to uh, just tell you a little bit about why we think llamas have been uh, a boon to us in the emergency department. Uh, one of the frustrations that we've had over years has been to uh, have samples rejected from the blood transfusion service. We uh, have to take a second sample, that delays things for the patient, it means that my staff have to uh, do further sampling which takes them time, uh, ties them up as well. And uh, the, the frustration for the blood transfusion service, the frustration for us, the frustration for the patient is all very, very tangible. Uh, and in these days of four hour turnarounds in the emergency department, when time is absolutely everything, uh, we just can't afford that kind of time uh, wasting. So Llama's there to help us get it right first time. We've found that that's, really wor that's working well. Uh, if we can use the Llama for the first uh, specimen that we take from a patient, uh, and we will not get it rejected. We haven't had any problems at all with rejection for our Llama samples. They've really been on top class. We think that's, like, that's got to be a good idea. Uh, we've heard about the alternatives, taking two samples, matching them together. Again, that makes it difficult for the emergency department to comply. So the Llama idea, once, get it right first time. We love that. And so we're right behind this project. It was essential to us that our design for Llama minimised the steps in the process for our users and that we could demonstrate a clear benefit. Llama's 25% faster than the manual process for this. In my role as a transfusion practitioner, I've spent a lot of time in the last 12 years investigating incidents and errors. The one that keeps me awake at night is a wrong blood in tube incident. This is where the wrong blood is in the bottle in association with the name on the bottle. So for ease of explanation, you've got patient A, who's group A, and patient B, who is group B. Patient A gets bled, the sample is then taken over to a nurse's station, and patient's B details are put onto that tube. The laboratory accept them because they don't have any historical information about patient B. Patient B then gets a unit of blood delivered to the laboratory, and then delivered to the ward, but it's patient A. A's blood in the bottle and therefore it's ABO incompatible for patient B. Patient B may well die from this transfusion. We experienced a three-fold increase in wrong blood in tubes in our trust in 2014. We were able to link this to the new pathology order comm system that we had, which unfortunately led our users to label the samples remotely from the patient. So LAMA was essential. We needed a fast solution it needed to be cost effective and this is what we've managed to deliver with the labelling system that we've developed. Hello, uh, my name is Richard Noble. I'm the Clinical Head of Transfusion for Royal Cornwall Hospitals Trust. Um, there's been in place for about two years a recommendation that for taking a cross-match sample uh, two separate specimens should be supplied, separated either in time by at least 30 minutes or taken by separate clinicians. And the idea of this is to ensure that the blood group is correct and that uh, there hasn't been any error in taking either one of the two specimens from the wrong patient. Um, we haven't implemented that in Royal Cornwall Hospital because we're not confident that it contributes to patient safety. Uh, principally because uh, we can't police or check that the two samples have been taken separately in time or by two separate clinicians. Uh, and there's every opportunity for subversion for busy clinicians who want to get on with something else. So our transfusion team have developed the, the app locally because the national recommendation says that where a cross-match specimen is taken by an electronic method that can absolutely be sure of the patient's identify, identity, then a second specimen isn't required. Uh, so this is good for the clinicians, they have to spend less time taking the specimen, uh, and it's good for us because we can be absolutely certain that an uh, individual cross-match specimen came from that patient and from nobody else. So this is the kit that we use for Llama. We have a Zebra printer and an iPod Touch. Now these are connected via Bluetooth, which means that they do not require a Wi-Fi connection. This means that they are a standalone device and therefore if there are any network issues, it will not affect Llama. I'm going to be taking a blood sample from you today. Um, I just need to take a quick scan of your wristband just so we can verify that you're the right person doing this. What I firstly need to do is identify myself as the clinician taking your blood today. So I'll just scan my ID badge here. 
And then I just need to scan this this square here on your wristband. Okay. Right, and can you please confirm your details with me here so I can check them against the screen? Okay, uh, my name's Swift Plus Bold. Fantastic. Uh, date of birth, 1st of December 1960. Brilliant, thank you very much. And I'm just going to check your hospital number against what I've got here and check it against the request form as well. Right, Mr. Board, we've got this sample. What we're now going to do is just confirm that I am still next to your side and I'm still the, staff, the same staff member finishing it off. What I'll do is rescan myself and rescan your wristband with you. Okay, now I'll just print these little labels. So just to check, can you please just confirm your name and surname again for me? Yeah, Mr. Swift, board, Swift Plus Board. Fantastic. And I will pop that one onto the tube there. What I'll do is check it against the request form again before I send this through to the laboratory. Before LAMA was introduced, taking um, blood samples for blood transfusion was very difficult. We used to have to try and hand write at bedside, which in emergency situations sometimes became a bit fraught and very difficult to write that down near the patient. Um, now LAM has been introduced, it's quicker, safer and much more effective for patient care. Um, it's a lightweight handheld computer where we can stay at the patient bedside, scan their wristband and label the blood successfully before sending it off to the lab. We hate phoning out rejections. Um, whilst we might not be patient facing, we do understand the impact it does have on patients. Um, so we do hate it when we get told off down the phone. Do we not understand what this is doing to the patients? Do we not understand what it's doing to the staff? We know that. We know that it is a massive problem. It causes a lot of pressure on the patients and on you guys. We hate it as well. It makes us feel awful for rejecting things, especially paediatrics. There's nothing worse than knowing that you've got to go read the a small baby. Um, so we really love the llamas for the fact that they actually stop this and stop us feeling bad for making you feel bad. The reason that I have loved every second of working with llama is not only the patient benefits, that's fantastic and that was our end goal and we've achieved that, but for me it's been the feedback and um, the communication that I've had with the clinical staff on the shop floor. The samples are going to be labelled properly and swiftly and cleanly, um, especially in the circumstances when you, um, as a massive, massive postpartum hemorrhage, um, and you're trying to label the bloods very, very quickly, doing it through LAMA seems to save all the hassle. It's just reassuring to know that the blood samples are really um, are sent down and saved. Um, and we can get the blood units back up to them very, very quickly. So you've got the added benefits of actually using LAMA has actually helped improve standards throughout the whole of the blood taking process that we found on maternity. No, I think LAMA's great. The risk of error is a lot less as a result of LAMA. We all know a good LAMA. We all know LAMA. <laughs> LAMA's obviously a lot quicker um, and easy to use. Like, I can't remember how it was before we had LAMA in the emergency department. Everything's just so much quicker and easier now. 